Let's talk about a few more ways to create an event before we look at our playback options. Another way to create an event is to use one button marking. Now this is very useful for sports that have no obvious start and stop to the action like soccer, hockey, and basketball. This is intended to allow you to show action previous to an event where no endpoint was selected. Make sure you are recording. Hit B and go to the live mode. Select your default camera angle as we did in example 1. Now the idea here is to mark an out point and jump back in time and automatically set an in point. And you can select how far back in time you want to jump. Use the option menu and select one button marking. This is the amount of time that the system will jump back to create an endpoint after an out point is set. Set it to four seconds, which is the default. Now, wait to see an event pass by on the live shot. Then count to three and hit mark out. Notice in your clip list you have an event that is a four second clip. It has an endpoint one second back from the start of the action because you counted to three before hitting the out point. Hit the clip list. Ramp up the T-bar. If the T-bar is already up, then pull it down to zero to set it to play. Now pushing it up will initiate the playback. The clip list will play and the speed can be adjusted with the T-bar. Setting an out point pad time can increase this by another 10 seconds, giving you a 15 second event, but the duration will remain unchanged. Or Set the out point pad time to infinite and it is like there's no out point. The one thing to remember here is that you end up with a four second clip. Now playing it in the clip list there's no issue with out point padding. It can play forever regardless of the duration or the out point. But if you add this to the playlist for later use it's only a four second clip. You can easily change the out point either by clicking and dragging it with the mouse or by selecting the clip, jogging the clip to a new out point, and hitting shift plus out. This changes the out point for all clips in the event. Now if you jog to the end of the clip and it stops, you can go beyond the marked out point by holding shift and continuing to jog. Once the proper out point is seen, you can hold shift and hit the out point to create it, and then add it to the playlist as a clip of proper duration. You could also just add it to the playlist and change the out point in the playlist, but we'll talk about that a little later. With the new out point set, reselect the camera angle you want, hit stop twice to reset the clip, and it's ready to play. You can also mark in with no out point. This allows you to start an event playback with no out point to stop it. And it also allows you to queue up the replay and be ready before the action is even finished. Make sure you're recording. Select the B output and put it in live mode. When the action starts, hit mark in. This creates an event with no out point. Now hit clip list and choose your angle of playback. Initiate playback. The clip has no out point, so it will continue to play until you stop it. Once you're finished with playback, Hit out to finalize the clip and prepare for the next one. The in button will remain blue until the event is completed with an out point. Now there's another method for creating instant replay called delayed playback mode. This mode does not create a clip at all but allows you to instantly playback anything that has already happened. Make sure that you're recording. Select B as the output and go to live mode. Select the camera angle you want to watch. Now at any time you can jog the jog wheel approximately a quarter turn to the left and the action will stop. Then jog to your end point. Press play to initiate playback or ramp up the T-bar. There is no event so just play until you're finished. When finished you can hit the out key to create an event but you will have to go back and edit the end point to the start of the action like we discussed earlier. Bookmarks allow you to create placeholders in timecode that you can jump to. Now you must be recording to set a bookmark. Now every time the bookmark button on the CS is pressed, it places a bookmark at that timecode. 
you can have up to 10 bookmarks. If you set more than 10, the 11th bookmark will replace the first one and so on with the oldest bookmark being replaced by the new one. To go back to bookmarks, hold shift and hit the bookmark button repeatedly to jump through all the bookmarks sequentially. 